Welcome back to another Malt Man episode. Today, I'm on the river with my boys, Brad and Trey. Yeah. And we are doing just a full on river day. Fishing, jug lines, arrowhead hunting, whatever we can come across. Might do a little cat fishing later uh, when it heats up. But I am about to go throw the cast net, and try to catch bait for, uh, for these jug lines. See if we can go find some bait fish. We got a couple. Oh yeah. Bunch of bass. They are all bass. Are you kidding me? Let's try that again. I'm gonna go up to that shallower water. See if we can catch some little minnows or hopefully some perch. Ah, cast net's not working. Try to catch him with this little jig. On the way, boat. There he is, little bass. Little bass are tearing it up. Oh my gosh, eat it. There's a bluegill. Yeah. Jug bait. Oh no, he came off. I caught the big bass that was stuck in this little pond. We'll let him go in the free water. He's not bad at all. Come here, buddy. That got one or two. Two big boys. Heck yeah. God, Lee, that's a big perch. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> that is a stud. Alright, that should be enough for bait. Alright. We got bait. Now we gotta get the old jugs ready. Alright, so we're just setting them. I'm setting along this rock bank right here. I'm gonna set as many as I can. Try to catch a few catfish. A 
animals that'll come up. All right, so we're going to this pond right here. We just took a little break from the river. Um, Trey's dad put a 12 pounder in here. So if anybody catches that 12 pounder, they get a hundred dollars. But if I catch the 12 pounder, they both have to give me a hundred dollars. <laughs> Good deal. I'm gonna catch it, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> so, apparently, there's a bunch of big bass in here, though. So, let's go bass fishing for a little bit, and then we're gonna go back, check the jugs. Hopefully, we have a few more catfish, and uh, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Got him? Oh, a little four pounder. Told you they can't stand a swim bait out here. That was first cast. Uh oh. I didn't have my drag set. <laughs> Dude, he's peeling drag though. Find him. There had to be the 12 because there's only one big fish in here. Really? Yeah, the rest are four. Oh, what? it was a big one. Nice little three, four pounder. Three and a half. Thanks for playing. Yeah. He came in on a bird's foot. Get out of that moss. Get out of that moss. Thanks for playing. Little midday check on the old uh, jug lines. We got one up here on the rocks that shouldn't be there. So we're gonna check it. Brad just having fun. All right, let's see what we got. I think. Reach down there and grab it. Come here, little boy. Get us some lunch. We're catching lunch. Is there one on there? Oh yeah. Be a big boy. Oh, Be a big oh, boy. Easy with him. Big. Holy oh, cow! We got two big we ones. Got two. Get them in the boat. Woo! Yeah, buddy. I like it. That was a fun little run. Yeah. Heck yeah, boys. We got dinner. Yes, sir. Let's set it back out. We got to get some more uh, perch. All right, guys. We got two nice cats. Um, we set up all day to run those other lines. So we're going to put these guys on our stringer, tie them up to this tree, and uh, we'll clean them at the end of the day before we get... Hopefully, we have a full stringer by the end of the day. But well, we shall see. So take us some line. I'm just gonna pop a hole through their bottom lip. All right. Put these, I'm gonna walk these over, Tom on the tree. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Dude, we're bringing the air boat down. <laughs> I don't trust Stuart in that thing. All right, guys, I don't know if it's clear enough, but brought my goggles and I brought the little Hawaiian sling. So I'm gonna get in. I got a GoPro mount for the top of my goggles. So let's get in. It's gonna be freezing. I'm already cold, but uh, let's see if we can't find a carp or something. Let's see if we can see anything. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, I wish it was a little warmer. Just a little bit. All right, just gotta do it. Oh. oh, I can't see crap. Oh, it's cold. Oh. All right, I got an idea. Let's go back. 
Look at those perch for us. See if we can pierce all that. Fishing didn't work out at all. It's way too murky. So we're gonna check these jug lines real quick. I'm hopping in with them so we can all check them. And then uh, we're gonna park on the bank and do a little cat fishing because the bass fishing is pretty slow right now, midday. So let's check these uh, these jugs. Hopefully we have a few more. All right, first one. Let's see if we got anything. Oh baby! Oh, is that a yellow? No, a little blue. Or, or, yeah, a little blue. Heck yeah! All right, we gotta go catch more bait, boys. Yeah. We need to go get the stringer after this too. We'll just leave this out and come rebait them here in a minute. We'll go get the cast net out of my boat and another one to the pile. Heck yeah! Let's go check it out. Well, we got one. All right, let's go rod and reel fishing. Well, guys, we had a great day on the river. Just loaded up the boat. They're staying till dark, but we're gonna clean these fish up, cook them for dinner real quick, and uh, we've had them all strung up. We've had them all strung up on stringers. So uh, we're gonna get these guys cleaned up. And ready for frying. Spicy boys. What happened? <laughs> what happened to this one? I don't know, you did though. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna clean one of these up for y'all. He's gonna move. So I don't wanna hear it in the comments, he is dead. I stuck a knife straight through the head. So he is dead. So what I'm gonna do these fit these uh these catfish and they have a little piece of cartilage or bone that comes on either side you want to go around that so i'm gonna cut in just like that go in to his backbone i'm gonna go around that little piece and then stay along his backbone till you get past the ribs and then you want to cut through all i have is this little uh refurbished knife so it's not the easiest, but we'll make it work. So you just wanna follow that meat up the ribs. Come down and over the ribs. And that right there is gonna be good in the frying pan here in a little bit. All I gotta do is take the skin off. All you gotta do right here, take your knife, get your little hold on the back end, and then run your knife down the skin, in between the skin and the meat, in like a sawing motion. where it doesn't have much give or has too much give so just like that there's your fillet with no skin got a little piece right there just like that now that is a pretty catfish fillet so I'm gonna finish this one up I'm gonna clean these other two big boys and uh, we're gonna run to the store we don't have any cornmeal or oil so we're gonna run to the store get some of that stuff 
and then come back down here and cook these up for dinner. All right, guys, so uh, turns out that we didn't have a pot, we didn't have oil, we didn't have cornmeal, we didn't have anything to fry these fish at the river, so I left most of the fish with them. Um, they're gonna take it home tonight and fry it up themselves, but um, I'm gonna do something a little different today. So I got the, so we caught, I think we caught three channel cats and one blue cat. Um, oven's ready. We were all confused there at first, so whatever we said in the video might have been wrong, but one channel, uh, one blue cat, three channel cat, one blue cat, three channel cats, and this is the blue cat, got the two fillets and the two little sides of the uh, belly meat. So I've never done this before, I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but I got this Olive Garden Italian dressing and uh, I'm going to cook them in this, bake them. So I'm gonna put a little Italian dressing in there. So I'm gonna take an onion and uh, just slice it up, throw some slices on there, let it cook up with the catfish. the outer ring off of them. So I'm just gonna take some slices of this onion. I'm gonna do the whole onion. Not gonna hurt anything. Get these slices and uh, let those cook up. And this is gonna be a simple dinner. Maybe make some rice on the side. See what else we got in the pantry. Cause we just cook what we have around here. Um, we don't do a whole lot of meal planning. All right, so got some onions in there. Just some uh, Italian dressing on catfish. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 350. And uh, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 minutes. We'll, uh, we'll watch it and see see how it goes. We'll check on it when it's done and uh, give her the old taste test. All right, put it on a little broil action there at the end. Crisp up those onions. Ooh, I need two gloves. It smells amazing. That doesn't mean it's gonna taste amazing, but we'll about to find out. Um, fish, let's get some rice. Nice white rice. All right. And some fish. Get a piece of that belly meat. And some of that filet. We gotta taste this before we make a full plate. Uh, Italian dressing, onions, and that is it. No seasoning, nothing in Italian dressing has plenty of seasoning in it. Here we go. Let me try again. So it's really good, but I can't, um, the Italian dressing is not all the way there. You can't like, like if I were to give this to you and, and I didn't tell you what it was, you wouldn't be able to say, oh, that was soaked in Italian dressing. But it is really good. Catfish, I'm gonna give that like a six, four. It's not the best catfish I've ever had, but it's not bad at all. Um, I would eat it again for sure this way. Um, probably gonna have to add some ketchup to it because I put ketchup on everything. That is gonna wrap today up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had a great day on the river today. Can't wait to get back out there and do it again. So I want y'all to leave it in the comments what y'all want to see next. Um, if you want me to be do hunting, fishing, stuff on the uh, new jet boat, go down to the coast again, whatever y'all want to see, y'all leave it in the comments. Make sure you get over to my merch site, uh, mulletman.net. It'll be linked in the description. Thank you all for watching. Please share with family and friends. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And remember, eat good.